KDIF. This morning, we're going to be coming at you guys with corny jokes in between each set of exercise, and we're going to rotate that with some health and fitness Q&A. So if you guys have any corny jokes or any jokes to share, throw them in the chat, as well as any health and fitness Q&A, and we can answer those in real time in between each set of exercise. So today, we're going to be going for a tri-set of swing rotation carry. We're going to do weighted variations of that, and then we'll do a giant set of the other four primaries. So to get you guys started off right on this funny, funky Friday, we're going to do some corny jokes, my favorite. <laughs> All right. What do you call a pig that does karate? I'll give you guys a couple seconds. I know you're racking your brain right now. A pork chop. And number two, why did the bike fall over? It was too tired. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. You guys may hate corny jokes, but I freaking love them. Dad jokes, corny jokes, oh, cheesy pickup lines. I love it. So if you guys have any, feel free to share them in the chat. If you guys have any health and fitness questions, also share those in the chat. We're going to get rolling with the swing rotation carry tricep. Let me make sure that I mute all the feedback on the streams. What's up, Shaiho? Stream regular. Thanks for hopping in the chat. He says, yay. How you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome. I hope you're ready for some corny jokes. Uh, let me mute the other streams, too, so you guys don't get any feedback. And we'll get some music rolling. We're going to do a rap playlist today. Set, swing rotation carry incoming. Try a set of exercises done. It is that easy, ladies and gentlemen, to get a solid workout in. It's literally just combining everything as a superset, tri set, or giant set. You get it done really quickly. You only need three to four sets of exactly what I just did of that, and then four additional exercises for the seven primary movements, and you get a solid workout. All right, we just did the corny jokes on the last break, or before the last. You guys know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> now we're going to do a health and fitness unit. And if you guys have any of your own, throw them in the chat. Um, someone asks, how can I increase lean muscle mass? That's a great question. So when we're talking about lean muscle mass versus muscle mass, there's this misconception that somehow you're going to pack it on lean, right? 
That's not the case. Our body is only good at doing one thing at a time. So you either, you either need to focus on building muscle mass, right? And there's a general understanding of how to build muscle mass. And if you don't like how like bulky you're getting or um, you don't like how the muscle's getting packed on, then you'd focus on leaning out. So very common in the bodybuilding industry um, that they do the bulk, right? In the winter time and usually with the, during the colder months, they bulk. And then they do a cut, usually in the summertime and stuff like that when they want to look more aesthetically pleasing and stuff. So my answer to that is just focus on building muscle mass. And how we do that is we focus on eating our maintenance calories, meaning we're not focusing on losing weight, right? We're focusing on just eating our maintenance calories every single day to build muscle. And you do enough adequate resistance training that's challenging to your body. You're getting enough volume in each week. So all those calories that are maintaining your weight are gonna to go towards building muscle. And that is how you create muscle mass. If you do wanna lean it out, you worry about that later. And that is basically done by doing more higher repetition work. Also maybe eating a little bit of calorie deficit if you wanna kinda of like lean out because you feel like you're like bulking up a little bit. So yeah, that is essentially how you build lean mass. But Again, focus on one thing at a time. I feel like people come to me with all kinds of goals, like I wanna do this, this, or that. I'm like, no, no, no. Focus on one thing at a time. Your body's really good at that. And then you can you know, pursue other goals later. All right, so we're gonna to get to another set, another tri-set, swing rotation carry. And like I said, if you guys have any corny jokes you feel like sharing this morning or any health and fitness questions, feel free to throw it in the chat. And we'll get to it after this break. Rotation carry, tricep number two is all done. We're gonna get to some corny jokes right now. I hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys are ready to laugh. Because if you don't, I will, most likely. <laughs> uh, okay. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants? In case he got a hole in one. give a pony a glass of water. Because he was a little horse. <laughs> yes. 
If you guys got those corny, silly dad jokes, send them my way in the chat. I would love to read them and share them. If you guys have any health and fitness questions, also feel free. We'll get to the next uh, set of health and fitness questions, or question, rather, after this next set of exercise. Funny Friday today. I hope you guys are getting some solid content to share with friends and family, to make them laugh and have a good time. Everyone loves a good corny joke, right? Am I right? All right. Set number three of our tricep swing rotation carry is all done. And that is it for swing rotation carry. Then we're gonna get to the next four primary movements, get three sets of those. How long did it take us to do that? About 13 minutes. We did some jokes. We did some Q&A in between. So don't make any damn excuses, y'all. Get your workout in. You get a really solid one in like 20, 30 minutes or less. All right. So now we're going to do a health and fitness q &A. Um, What's up user data? I see you in the YouTube stream. How is it going this morning? Yeah, I see the muscle in the chat. Ah. Um, we're doing corny jokes <laughs> and health and fitness q &A. So if you have any health and fitness uh, questions, throw it in the chat. If you have any corny or silly jokes you want to share, feel free as well. We're going to get to a... Going good, right on. Glad to hear that. Hope you got some cool plans or some chill plans this weekend. Um, health and fitness Q&A we're gonna get to. Um, how, much, how much weight should I use when strength training? It's actually a very good question. So when strength training, that means you're trying to get stronger, right? I don't have to emphasize because there's a lot of different forms of strength training. Within that, there's actually like powerlifting, there's athletic performance, and, and so on and so forth. But I believe that these people are just talking about general strength. That being said, uh, you want to work in the lower rep range. Lower rep range with heavier weight is going to get you strong very quickly, but we don't sacrifice form, okay? So anywhere from the one to eight rep range, I really like the one to five when training for like power and strength, um, is going to be your best bet. That being said, really be careful of your form. It's not worth it to get injured just for throwing up like heavy weight and to get stronger. So 
when I say this like one to eight rep range, what I mean is you really want to challenge yourself and I'm a big fan of always going to RP of eight, meaning like 80% of your maximal effort for any given uh, set of exercise. When you're doing strength training, you kind of want to go to the nine and 10 of an RPE, right? So you, you're pushing it a little bit more to get this maximal effort. So that one to eight rep range, I would stick to and use weight that you're hitting in RPE of like maybe nine or 10 when you're doing your set of exercise. So that may look like, you know, if you're doing a heavy weight, maybe you're only gonna get like one to three reps. If you're doing a little bit easier weight to work with, maybe you're doing like five to eight reps. So that would be my suggestion on um, how much should you use as far as weight wise goes when doing strength training is you go to an RP of nine or 10, which pretty much is failure, 10 out of 10 meaning failure, and you stick in the one to eight rep range. And just as far as the volume goes, how many sets of that you want, um, you can do anywhere from like, when you're doing less reps, heavier weight, you can go with more volume, more sets, meaning you can do like three to five sets. Whereas typically you do like, you know, about three sets. So yeah, that's how much weight you should use when strength training. Although to, get, to avoid getting too far in the weeds of things, there is a lot of um, different variations of strength training, such as powerlifting, athletic competition, stuff like that. So, but generally speaking, that's how you go for weight with uh, strength training. All right, we're gonna get our set of uh, our next four primary movements, which is gonna be a squat, it's gonna be a row, it's gonna be a deadlift, and it's gonna be a press variant. We're gonna get that right now. That is called a giant set when you do four exercises or more back to back, and that's what we're about to do right now. After that giant set, we're gonna get some corny, silly jokes, and I hope you guys are ready for those. If you guys have any yourself, <laughs> I love telling dad jokes, sometimes he laughs, I love it. <laughs> You have a late day today? Right on. Get it, man. Don't get it so much that you can't walk, right? You don't need, you don't need all that in order to get good muscle um, or a, re a response from your muscles, rather. But uh, yeah, hit that leg day hard and get it, man. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of dad jokes, too, and like corny, silly jokes. I love those. And cheesy pickup lines. I love them. So if you got any of that stuff, Always feel free to throw that in the chat. I would love to laugh at it and read it. Back to our next set of exercise.
So you don't need a lot of time, y'all. Don't make those damn excuses. They don't have enough time. You just need to switch up the workout style to fit the amount of time that you have. Um, we're gonna get to some corny jokes. So hope y'all are ready to laugh. I see user data, uh, I don't have a gym or anything, but I'm probably gonna go for a five lap, then a 15 lap, and then come in and do some weight stuff. For weights, I just have some adjustable dumbbells, but I find a way. Yeah, um, you don't need a gym at all to uh, get a solid exercise, solid workout in. So that's totally a misconception. Um, by laps, I believe you're talking about running, like running laps, five and 15 laps, maybe even swimming. Swimming is a really great cardio, by the way, really great for your joints. It's not very taxing on the joints. So if you're someone who have like aches and pains, you have arthritis, any of those issues, um, swimming by far is one of the best forms of cardio. Other than that, walking is really great too, and that's pretty low impact. So yeah, and as far as um, weights go, it's great to have progressive overload, but you don't always have to do it. You can use bands, resistance bands. You can even do your body weight if it's challenging enough. But as soon as body weight and bands aren't as challenging enough for your body, you need to switch up what you're doing to create that uh, muscle response stimulus from your body. So that's like adding weights in there or doing a harder variation of the body weight or banded exercise. And that will continue that uh, muscle chain response. So yeah, you definitely don't need a gym, definitely don't need weights. That's a misconception. But it definitely helps, especially if you're going for like building mass and stuff. All right. Um, I agree, you just gotta get a little creativity. Honestly, uh, what I hope people catch on eventually by watching these streams is you wanna structure every single workout. It may, say, it may seem kinda like boring or maybe mind blowing to some people. Every single workout should be the seven primary movements that I'm doing. Swing, rotation, carry. A squat variation, some where you're using your hips. A hinge variation where you're using like your hammies. Um, or sorry, the squat variation, some with the glutes, like hip bridge, glute bridge, um, squat. A hinge, something like a deadlift, a press, like a chest press, shoulder press, and then a row. Any sort of those seven movements, you just do every single exercise, every single workout. Now, you can add in different variations if you get bored of doing those seven primary movements, right? But generally speaking, people have this uh, really misunderstanding about how they should generally structure a workout. It's just seven primary movements. It's yes, it's the same movements over and over and over again. You just need different variations. You see all this crazy shit out there on IG and in the fitness world. In reality, majority of exercises, like there's thousands of different exercises, majority of them stem from these seven primary movements. They're just different variations. And a lot of the times, believe it or not, all these vari variants of the seven primary movements are less effective. So <laughs> if you just stick to the seven primary movements that I'm doing in these streams, and I kind of like list out every once in a while, that's literally all you need for a solid workout. So yeah, um, let's get to some corny jokes. What's up, you still wear a tidy whities? How you doing this Friday? We're getting some corny and silly jokes in between sets of exercise, and then we're getting some helpful fitness Q&A. Right now, we're gonna do some corny, silly jokes. So I hope you're ready to laugh. If you have any of your own corny jokes or uh, health fitness questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. Shy Ho, so sweet, baby trainer. Hey, I'm not a baby trainer. I'm a man trainer. Because ah! you know, men do that, right? <laughs> um, all right, corny jokes. What did the policeman say to his belly button? I'll give you guys a couple seconds. You're under a vest. <laughs> I love these. Woo All right, uh, next corny joke. 
Why did the man get hit by a bike every day? He was stuck in a vicious cycle. <laughs> yes, I love him. I hope you guys are loving these corny jokes. And even if you don't, it doesn't matter because I freaking love them. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get back to our next set of exercise. We're doing the remaining four primary exercises. We're gonna start off with a row. We're gonna do a barbell row. We're gonna then go to a um, squat. We're gonna do a goblet squat. And then we're gonna go for a press. We're doing a chest press variation. And then we're gonna finish that up with a deadlift. So, without further ado, let's get into it. for one more and then we're gonna go to our pull down after that all right now we're gonna get a health and fitness question for y'all uh, <laughs> and then 
between uh, the next, during the next uh, break, we have user data with the corny joke. Love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, I'm such a sucker for corny jokes, I swear. I love making them, I love telling them, I love reading them. Okay. Um, health and fitness Q&A. Should children lift weights? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, absolutely they should lift weights. Um, and ironically, they probably have better form than you. <laughs> so children naturally are gonna be less inhibited by the world. Um, their body movements, like their ability to get in like deep squats and just the way they move their body is like unhindered. And so if you watch a child play and move around, that is how all of us originally began. Unhindered, unstressed, our joints and everything will function properly. No injuries for the most part, right? Um, children, sometimes they get injured. I myself got injured a lot. Uh, but yeah, children have really solid form, so why not maximize the ability for them to build strength and form like all these different, um, formulate all these different muscle groups when they can move and they're mobile as a human should be. What I spend a lot of time doing as a trainer is I, I usually work with middle-aged and maybe older clients, sometimes younger clients too, but more often than not, middle-aged and, and older clients of mine, they come into me with aches and pains and we have to spend time uh, like kind of rehabbing and fixing those aches and pains and learning how to um, go about the process of like resetting their mobility. Because most people are just like really locked up and tense. I myself, you know, I'm, early 30s and I'm learning, you know, all these stress and tensions, they kind of like manifest in your body and limit like your joint mobility and like basically your ability to be mobile and function as you should. So yeah, and long story short, children should absolutely lift weights. They definitely want to keep proper form. So making sure that, you know, if you are teaching them um, to exercise with weight, that they have good form or hire a trainer, hire an athletic uh, coach, anything like that. Um, and then also making sure they don't push, push it too much. Because when I was younger, my dad gave me a set of weights and uh, I was unsupervised working out. And I got injured a lot because I was like really just trying to lift as much weight as I could. No one taught me about form or anything like that. So making sure that, yes, we do introduce lifting to children, but making sure they have a good form and they're, they're, they have a healthy relationship with it. And not just trying to like lift as much weight as possible. Teaching that at a very young age will do them a huge service and build a nice, strong foundation for their body for their entire life. So, highly recommend uh, teaching children how to lift weights. Very good idea. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for that corny joke in the chat user data. We will go over it after our next set of exercise. We'll do the corny jokes. We're going to get to our last giant set here, ladies and gents. We're doing the four remaining primary movements. The first three were a swing rotation carry. We did a tri set of that. The four remaining ones, we're doing a giant set for exercises back to back. That's a giant set. We're gonna go with a row. We're gonna do a barbell row. We're gonna do, go with a squat, which is a goblet squat. We're gonna do a chest press variant, and then we're gonna finish up with a deadlift.
giant set. Number three is all done. That is it for the workout. We're going to do some corny jokes right now. And then we'll get into a cool down. So, if you guys are short on time and you need a quick workout to get in, we did that in what? Less than 40 minutes. And we were doing a bunch of ranting for the Q&A and telling some silly jokes. So, 20, 30 minutes is all it takes, yo. Don't make an excuse. You can get a solid damn workout in. Okay, so, user data on the YouTube stream. Thank you for sharing your joke. We got, uh, his joke is, what did the big chimney say to the little chimney? You guys know what it is? You're too young to be smoking! <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that joke. That's awesome. The more corny, the better, in my honest opinion. All right, we're gonna get to our corny jokes. Uh, we already said that one, right? Yep. What did the bartender? What, what did the bartender say to the turkey sandwich when he tried to order a beer? Go ahead and think about it. Sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> That, was, that one was low key. That was low key. Uh, why do seagulls fly over the sea? You guys gonna love this one. If they flew over the bay, they would be bagels. <laughs> yes! Corny jokes for the win. Best ones ever. <laughs> All right. Do another joke real quick because these are data. Just share. <laughs> uh, yes, you are on a roll this morning, dude. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I have a joke. This one's from user data. I have a joke about dice, but I feel like it's a little random. The joke was a six out of six. <laughs> yes. Love it. All right, so we're gonna get to a cool down right now. Um, and typically for cool downs, I like to do focus on deep breathing in and out. And I also like to picture some calming imagery as I close my eyes. And that's gonna be like a three step or three prong approach to really calming down, relaxing your body during a cool down. Highly recommend doing static stretching with deep breathing and visualizations post exercise as well as before bed, because it really just calms your mind and body and allows you to just relax. So if you guys struggle with sleep, really good tip for you there. So, chill music incoming, and we're gonna get to some static stretching. Also, for the others of you that don't clean up your weights and rack your weights, don't be a filthy, stinking animal. I love you if you got that reference. Rack your damn weights, all right? Pet peeve of mine, clean your shit up.
Just finishing up our static stretch cool down, y'all. We're gonna close out with one last health and fitness Q&A, as well as a corny joke or two. So if you guys got any of those, throw them in the chat, and we'll close out the stream after. Great stretch if you have a tight pec minor with the chest connected to the shoulder right here. If you have a tight neck, tight traps, solid stretch for that. Also a solid stretch for tight neck and uh, traps. These various neck stretches we're about to do. to my fitness trainer. Yes. Why the hell would you not? Because chances are that there is certain medication, not all, but there is certain medication that you should not be doing some certain exercises for, or you may be on some medication where your heart rate needs to be monitored and things of that nature. I've actually had a client in the past who in between each set of exercise, we literally had to take his pulse because we had to monitor his heart rate because it couldn't get above a certain level. So absolutely, yes, tell your fitness trainer and everyone that you're dealing with as far as, as, far as health and fitness goes in that realm of uh, people you deal with, let them know your medications, um, very important. Okay, so let's give some shout outs to people in the chat. We got Shy Hope, Stream Regular. Thanks for hopping in the chat today. We got You Still Wear Tidy Whities, awesome name. Thanks for hopping in the chat. Always cool to see you all in the chat. We have user data. Thanks for hopping in the chat and thank you for sharing the jokes. Always appreciate when people get involved in the chat, especially on the theme that we're doing. Um, just 
just checking all the other chats. Okay, cool. That looks like it was it for today. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys are, shoot me a follow, shoot me a subscribe. It would really mean the world to me and it really helps support me. Um, we are going to be doing a stream later this evening, probably around five, if not a little bit later this evening. It will be a gaming and guitar variety stream, so we'll be playing a bunch of different games. Um, also, if you guys have song requests, throw those in the chat on the stream later today because we'll be doing guitar covers, and I promise you I will butcher the hell out of the songs you want me to cover. So, if you want to join that stream later today, come on in. I really appreciate it. We'll have a good time. Other than that, I hope you guys are digging the fitness content. Feel free to always ask me any health and fitness questions because I love answering them. We'll see you later on the stream. Hope you guys have a great Friday if I don't see you later. Peace.